All right, guys, hopefully this comes out well. This is the first time I'm doing a video for Home Lab. Um, basically, what I have here is a 2960 uh, Catalyst Cisco switch, and I'm going to configure some VLANs and some very basic config uh, on it for my Home Lab. I'm going to use it as my WAN switch. So, the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to console into it, and I look and see what my USB to serial adapter, uh, what, what COM port the computer has picked it up as. In this case, it's COM4, so we can close out of here, and we can come over to PuTTY. We can select Serial, and we'll change it to COM4. Make this big so you guys can see it. Um, this is a blank switch. I just reset it. We're not going to go through the initial config dialog. You can if you want, but I don't. Um, so now we're uh, going to get to... The enable prompt here and we'll do a show run so that you can see that it is a blank config nothing crazy going on there uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into config team uh, configuration mode or config t and we're going to type in vlan 5 which will create a vlan number 5 uh, this happens to be my wan vlan so we're going to give it a name, and we're going to call it WAN. We're going to go exit. We're going to go type in VLAN 25, which is my production or management VLAN. And we'll give that a name, production. Back out of this. Go back out of this. And then we'll type in show VLAN. And what that's going to do is you can now see, so all the ports are assigned to VLAN 1. And you can see we've created VLAN 5 with the name of WAN and VLAN 25 with the name of production. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, assign ports to each of the uh, VLANs we just created in order for them to work. So go back into config T, type in interface gigabit ethernet I am going to use port 1 for my modem uplink so we're going to type in switch port access VLAN 5 we're going to give it a description I always like to give my ports descriptions that way when you look at the config you can see where it's plugged you know what's plugged into it um, so we're going to do modem uplink we're going to go exit and we're going to arrow up and we're going to go port 2. We're going to do switch port access VLAN 5. Well, description. And we're going to go uplink to ACH FW01, so firewall 01. And we're going to back out of that. We're going to go arrow up again until we find interface 3. And we will do the same thing here. Switch port access VLAN 5. And arrow up. Uh, I jump between arrow up and typing, etc. So this will be firewall 2. So I have two fire, or I'm building two firewalls, one on each host. Um, the PF sense in a CARP setup. And exit. And we also have to do. We have to give switch port 7 access to VLAN 25. Uh, well, it's just the last port on that. It's an 8 port switch, but the other, the last port is an F, uh, the GVIC port. So we will go switch port access VLAN 25 description management network. So this will allow me to connect to the switch from my Dell stack or from my desktop. Exit. Um, we're going to do host name while we're in here. SWACH-WAN. So switch, ACH are my initials, and I'm using it as a WAN switch. And so now you can see the host name has changed. We're going to exit out of that. We're going to do a copy, run, start. 
And now I'm going to do a show VLAN command again. And so now, now you can see before uh, they were all assigned to VLAN 1. Now we've got ports 1, 2, and 3 assigned to VLAN 5 or the WAN. And we've got uh, port 7 assigned to VLAN 25, which is my production management network. Now, in order for uh, this switch to talk to my Dell stack, we have to assign the VLAN an IP address. So uh, we're going to come over to PuTTY and type in conf, conf t, config t. We're going to go into interface VLAN 25, and we're going to type the command IP address, and then I'm going to give it 192.168.25.4 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Enter. I'm going to exit. Exit again. Copy, run, start. And then we can come over and do a show run. And now you should be able to see, so you can see the host name has changed. And you can see the port descriptions and the VLANs. Uh, which VLANs uh, each port is uh, accessing. And you can see VLAN 25 now has an IP address. And that is the pretty basic config for a Cisco 2960G switch, uh, at least for my home lab. This is all I'm doing with it. Um, I will put a password on it after. I'm just not going to do that on the video.